Hey everybody, we are here at Dark Side in Riverside, a Halloween pop culture con. This brand new convention is a three day experience filled with all sorts of fun stuff from screenings, panels, zombie 5k, celebrity guests, cosplay, and even a 40th anniversary screening and panel for Friday the 13th. So, with that said, we're gonna give you a little bit of a go for everything this weekend. Start taking a look. All right, so let's take a look at this map and kind of guide book. There's a lot going on. Tonight is kind of like a preview night as we're starting out here on Friday. Actually, let's head over to that part first. So, you've got the paranormal haunted walks going on, the blood drive, monster speed dating. But uh, the big thing of the night is Friday the 13th, 40th anniversary celebration. Q&A panel screening followed by a vampire. This con goes around the clock. We're looking at Saturday and Sunday as well. Lots going on there. Got a little scavenger hunt going on. Try and find some of the various clown uh, characters, cosplayers throughout the weekend. It spreads out from the Fox Theater to the Municipal Auditorium. So it's a bit of a walk in between. Municipal Auditorium having all of the guests, vendors, signings, photo ops, etc. And then Fox being placed for the panels, screenings, etc. We've also got the Deadly Survival game, or the Survival Chase taking place this weekend. So, a lot going on in this three day con. Alright, we're at the lobby. The famous Fox Theater. I'm getting ready for the Friday the 13th, 40th anniversary panel and screening. Pretty cool little giveaway they're giving everybody in the audience. This man is not only an actor, he's an artist and he's a, a musician. I consider him a bona fide rock star and I know you do too. Let's welcome in the way that only Dark Side and Riverside fans can welcome, Ari Lennon. Let's bring him out. Hey, Ari, bring him out! I'm introduce you to the gentleman, the maestro, that scored the first Friday the 13th movie, and who not only created a score that is absolutely inseparable from the film, but a character theme that all of you have scared the shit out of each other in the dark at some point or another. I know it. Let's welcome to the stage, Harry Manfredini. Maestro, in Friday the 13th and Dementia 13, the mom imagines the child is still alive. But in a way, it just occurred to me that this sound effect that you did, in some way... You can do it if you're well, I get five cents. <laughs> do you mean... Well, some but people think it, it's somehow, it somehow, in a, in a audible way, brought those two concepts together, somehow. Am I right? So, yes, All right, moving on to day two, and the floor is open, and the cosplay cars are out. Some fun stuff out here. So at the Municipal Auditorium, the exhibitors stretch out and it becomes kind of almost a block party out here. So we've got the courtyard area, but also across the street, got a bunch of exhibitors, food trucks, etc. Inside the auditorium, we've got all this like natural seating, which is similar to Stockton Con up north. This is kind of cool, just tons of easy seating. And then we've got exhibitors in here. Linda Blair's over there. Looks like a film crew showing up. A number of others. So let's take a look.
vendors they're just kind of spread out into all sorts of different locations here the auditoriums down there we've got the library here you can see some sort of exhibit going on outside there's also panels inside the library we see a cosplayer walking out from there and then the mission in there with the fox theater behind it uh, or down the way and just kind of showing that if you're not that familiar with the area it's really interesting because it's kind of like this big block party and i don't know if i've ever said that here i know i said it in recording the podcast but you really do have a big footprint being taken up and all these people with their love of horror and Halloween kind of taking over this area is really interesting and unique. Uh, we're very familiar with the area and it's not something we have seen here before. So it's kind of cool. I first thought the, the footprint was maybe not the best. Thought, oh, why not at the convention center? But actually really, as we've been here now uh, a day, it's been really neat to kind of see how it stretches out here, how they're utilizing the outside, uh, the interesting uh, use of space on the inside of the various buildings kind of a neat setup, so definitely uh, like it. down here I will say some of the best selection of t-shirts I've ever seen anywhere I mean there are all sorts of takes on various licensed properties and in uh, non-licensed stuff all over the place here It's Sunday and there is lots to do at the show. Really pleased with the programming throughout the weekend. We've been too busy to take advantage of most of it. But there's been a lot of offerings from open until well after what would normally be considered after hours at a con. So right now we are going to head over to check out the Netflix show, the movies that made us, the toys that made us Q&A with creator producer Brian Volkweiss. On this grill. And I just remember it felt so quote unquote real and like it was just such a small tiny detail, but I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I, I cannot wait to go back. We're doing a show now for Disney Plus all about theme parks, and we're doing a whole episode that covers star tours. This also has never been said before. Um, I mean, the show's been announced, but not this part. Um, but we cover, we're doing an episode that covers star tours all the way up to Galaxy's Edge, and how the technology and the storytelling evolved. 
And it's, it's very, very, I mean, what they did there, since you've been there, you know, I mean, whenever I hear read people complaining about it, I'm like, what else could you want? Like, I mean, a, a, a teleportation to Yavin? Like, what, what could they do that they didn't do? They spent a billion dollars on it. All right, so it was cool, uh, the Netflix panel, very fun. It was cool just to catch a little bit of him talking about Galaxy's Edge, talking about uh, the new Disney Imagineering show, and it's funny just kind of leaking that little news they're doing a Star Wars Imagineering specific episode for Netflix. So that said, we're gonna make our way back to the floor at Dark Side and Riverside here, but I think we will go ahead and close up this video there. We'll talk more on the podcast if you wanna hear more about the weekend. You can find us over on Parks and Cons, wherever it is you can find podcasts. It should be released within a couple days of this video hitting online. So wrapping up from a fun weekend here at Dark Side and Riverside, the first annual 2019. Until next time, we'll see you in line somewhere.